Hello everyone. Good morning. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be looking at sensory details. The five senses in other words. Taste, sight, hearing, touch, and smell. Right? Taste related words can be sweet, sour, spicy, bitter, burned, bland, tart, right? Words related to sight or something you see can be um, shining, for example, I saw the sun shining, right? Colors, shape uh, in general, small, big, clean, dirty, wrinkled, worn, strange, right? Anything you see with your own two eyes, right? Hearing words are like low, high, beautiful, ugly, especially talking about um, the voice of a singer or something. Um, loud, silent, quiet, right? Touch related words are like soft, wet, cold, rough, hard and smooth. Like things that you can touch, right? Smell related words are sweet, yummy, disgusting, chocolatey, right? Flowery, right? Or whatever. Okay, I'd like you to have a look at these sentences. The first sentence is the cat was here. So this sentence is kind of unclear because we can't know where the cat is, right? We need to use more adjectives, cite adjectives that can help us know where the cat is, right? Look at the example down. The black cat was sitting on the hard concrete step, right? So the second example is much more vivid, right? It helps you as a reader build an image in your mind about where the cat is, right? Look at the second example. The, the cake was good. We don't know what kind of cake, right? There is there there is a, a variety of cakes, right? And we don't even know how it smells, right? But we can use descriptive words or adjectives, right? To help us build an image in the reader's mind. A chocolate cake, right, smelled yummy coming out of the oven. So the second sentence much more better than the previous one due to the use of the sensory part, the sight, right, and as well as the the smell as well because we said the chocolate cake, which is the kind of cake that we see, right, and then we use the smell. Uh, the smelling part, right? Look at the words colored in yellow. They truly help the reader build an image of what the sentence is all about. Let us try and have a look at this piece of writing. As I walked into the stadium, I could feel the excitement of the crowd. The lights were on and it highlighted the bright green grass. The in the stadium section to our left, the fans were chanting in unison. We love you, we love you, we love you, and where you go, we'll follow, we'll follow, we'll follow. Nobody seemed to mind that there was a chill in the air. We knew we'd be kept warm by the energy and enthusiasm of our fellow spectators. Looking at this piece of writing, you can notice that the writer used the five senses along the way of his writing, right? For example, I could feel the excitement of the crowd, feeling, right? He used the feeling part. The lights were on and it highlighted the bright green grass, right? Sight, 
what he saw. The fans were chanting, right? Hearing as well. Nobody seemed to mind that there was a chill in the air. Feeling as well, right? So the writer here used three senses. Feeling, sight, and hearing, right? It's kind of more vivid and builds an image in the reader's mind. And that's why it is important to use the five senses along the way of your descriptive writing. Look at the following picture and try and use your five senses to describe what you can see right now. You can describe what you can see, smell, hear, taste, and touch. Right? What can you see? Okay. I can see the green grass and the tall trees. I can smell the fresh scent of the blooming flowers. I can hear the birds chirping. I can taste the fresh air on my tongue. I can feel the wind blowing. Right? This paragraph sounds a little bit boring. Why? Because all sentences start with the pronoun I. Right? And as far as you can remember, um, we had a lesson talking about starting a sentence, right? That we can start a sentence in a number of ways, right? But we can improve this paragraph by including a number of language techniques that can help the reader pictureize and see everything that he is reading. As I walk through the enchanted forest, I am greeted with the fresh smell of scented flowers. Their bright colors glow in the sunlight. Chirping birds happily dance around in the sky as the trees wave their arms in excitement. The warm spring breeze softly brushes against my face as I walk along the freshly grown grass. Slowly, the refreshing air lands on my tongue filling me with happiness. Here, we used a number of techniques to help build an image in the reader's mind. And when it comes to descriptive writing, we can use techniques like um, similes, metaphors, and personification. Right? Let us dive in and see what we used. The use of the word enchanted right gives a deeper meaning right it shows how full of life the forest is right the use of the adjective scented as well shows how beautiful the scent of the flowers is chirping birds um show how happy and full of life, the birds are, right? Down here, as you can see, the trees wave their arms in excitement. Here, we gave an object human quality, right? The trees can never wave their arms, but we did that to try and, and build an image in the reader's mind. And that's called personification. Right when you when you when you give an object the characteristic of a human being, right? So the trees wave their arms in excitement. Right. Another example of personification is the warm spring breeze softly brushes against my face. Right. So the breeze or the wind can never brush against your face, your face. Right. But we did that in order to build personification in our writing, right? So we gave the, the wind or the breeze 
the characteristic of brushing, right? I would like you to have a look at this picture and try and use your five senses to describe it. Or like here is the, re the writing part, but I'll ask you to tell me about the sensory words that the writer used. Slowly, the bright blue sea crawls towards the golden sand. The fresh air enters my nose as I make my way down the, she the seashore. With every step, I can feel my feet sink into the smooth sand and the taste of the salty seawater lands on my tongue. The sound of the violin echoes along the coast as I begin to dance around the, the sand elegantly. <laughs> 